In this video, we're going to cover airbags, gaining access to the battery, and de-energizing the vehicle. All right, we need to make sure that we're not getting lax when it comes to de-energizing these vehicles. Uh, there's so many airbags in these vehicles, places we don't even expect them anymore. We've obviously got them in the steering wheels, over, over the glove box, A post, curtain. We have some now that are coming from down by the shins, total encapsulation ones coming up from the center console. So with us not knowing where they're at, that's why it's that much more vital that we need to de-energize these cars. So don't get lax de-energizing them. And that way we can keep ourselves safe along with the people that are inside these vehicles. As we covered in the last video, when we walk up to check on our patient, we want to avoid sticking our head inside the cab until the 12 volt battery system has been de-energized. Airbags can hurt us as well as victims already in the car. All right, a good teaching point here. Uh, you can see the windshield is spiderwebbed on the passenger side. A lot of airbags are designed to come up, hit the windshield and actually go back to the passenger. But on the opposite side of the driver's side, you can see it's not spiderwebbed. The airbags on the driver's side are not designed to hit the windshield. So if you ever come up on a wreck and you see that the driver's side windshield is spiderwebbed, you know their head or something that's not supposed to hit that windshield hit it. So it's a suspect a high level of trauma. All right, so after our vehicle stabilized, we have to de-energize our car. Uh, we'll talk about a couple different ways we can access the battery. Out of habit, normally we always go to the front of the hood, but obviously if this car has been in a front end collision, the front end's all messed up. Also, it's more dangerous to be in front of the car due to the struts that are in the bumpers. And also, the more we push and move stuff around in the front of the car, there's more sensors up there for the airbags, and we could possibly deploy an airbag on a patient. So, uh, for those reasons, a good option is to go hinge first. The hinges for the hoods are obviously right back here in this area, and we'll show you methods to expose those hinges to defeat them, and then we can just flop this hood forward to easily access the battery. Depending on the type of impact, there might be a good purchase point existing to get to the hinges, but if not, here's a couple methods to expose those hinges. In this method, we're going to drive the pick or spike of our halogen through the hood next to the hinge. Most hoods are double layer sheet metal, so be sure you drive that spike deep enough that you get both sides of the hood when you go to pry up. Same technique as before, but instead of a baseball swing, we're going to use a flathead to drive our halogen in. We can also pinch the fender and then put our spreaders underneath the hood to expose the hinge. Once we've gained access, we have a couple different options for defeating the hinge. First is using the spreaders to break the hinge. Second, using our cutters to cut the hinge. And third is gonna be using our sawzall. Once we've cut both hinges, flop the hood forward, and then we're on to our battery. If you decide to attack the hood from the front, just bash that plastic out of the way, find that cable, use the fork of your halogen or something else to twist the cable. That should release the hood. Then you can just reach underneath, grab the latch and open it up. Talk about de-energizing uh, our cars or the 12 volt system. The 12 volt system is what operates all the airbags. So when we de-energize, we have two options. We can either cut the cables or pull the cables off of the battery terminals. If it's something minor, just go ahead and pull. take the time to pull the cables off the terminal, save them from some money from cutting their cables. Uh, if we do need to cut them, make sure we cut them. We take a chunk out, at least an inch. That way, when the wires come back, the wire memory, we don't want that system with the wires to reconnect and re-energize the system. So we want to cut or take off the negative side first. The negative side is a black wire and also has a minus sign on the battery. Uh, the reason we want to do the negative side first is for two reasons. For one, the way the power system works, the power goes from the battery down the negative side to the electric components and then back on the positive side. So if we cut the negative battery terminal first or cable first, then that's going to remove power to all those components quicker. Also, if we cut this first, that's going to reduce the amount of sparks that happen when we go ahead and cut this positive or red side. The positive side has the plus sign. Now our vehicle is de-energized and we can cut. In the next video, we're going to be talking about gaining access. We're going to be covering windshields, roofs, and doors.